first of the four pillars of medical ethics, autonomy is taken as the right of competent adults to make informed decisions about their own medical care, and represents freedom of choice. As a doctor, you can advise your patients of what you think the best treatment is, but cannot force treatment upon them without their consent. Keep the following principles in mind when thinking about autonomy. Any decision must be free of coercion, such as pressure from their doctor to have surgery instead of medication, or being scared of what a family member might think. And just because someone is making a decision that you think is unwise or not in their best interests, this doesn't mean that they can't make that choice. There may be situations in which autonomy cannot be tested, such as if they are unconscious following an accident, or they have a condition which reduces their ability to make decisions, such as dementia. Other people may need to help them make decisions, or make decisions on their behalf. And lastly, the best medical relationships promote and respect patient autonomy, and as a doctor you must present all the options available and help the patient come to an informed decision for themselves.